So hey guys, using the Exynos 2400 on the Galaxy S24 series might be the only good option Samsung has. Yes, as per the latest rumor, Samsung is planning to use its own Exynos processor for the majority of its flagship Galaxy S24 series. While there have been concerns in the past about the Exynos processor overheating and not performing up to the mark, Samsung seems to be putting in the effort to make the upcoming Exynos 2400 chip worth using. It is true that the success of the Galaxy S24 line might be depend on the performance of the Exynos 2400 chip. However, Samsung has been constantly improving its Exynos processor with each new release. For example, the Exynos 2100 chip used in the Galaxy S21 performed exceptionally well and even outperformed Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 in some areas. Now you may be wondering why would Samsung bring back Exynos chips for the vast majority of its flagship units? The answer might be the cost. According to a post on Weibo by Digital Chat Station, a tipster with a good track record, Qualcomm is going to charge Galaxy a lot more for their Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipsets than they did for the Samsung's Galaxy 8 Gen 2 chipsets. If on the other hand, Samsung is going to use its own SoC, the Exynos 2400 on most Galaxy S24 series smartphones, Samsung may be able to afford to increase the number of RAMs on the flagship models, base configurations, increase the minimum storage to 256GB on the Galaxy S24 from 128GB on the Galaxy S23 and keep the price stable and still make a profit. To give you confidence, the Exynos 2400 with its DecaCore configuration could be competitive with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Yup, the latest Geekbench tests have shown that CPU, although it's not as good as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in terms of single core or multi core results, it's still pretty good. What Samsung might be worried about is how its audience will react in the market outside the US. China is likely to react if the company decide to roll out its new generation of premium products with the Exynos 2400 series processor in their region. Keep in mind that neither the Exynos 2400 nor the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 have been officially introduced yet by Samsung and Qualcomm respectively. Interestingly, we have already heard rumors about Qualcomm splitting production of the Galaxy 8 Gen 4 between TSMC and Samsung Foundry, with both firms using a 3nm process not to build the chip. So what do you think about this Exynos 2400? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.